sometimes uh, the outcome of a function is the input of the next function. So if we want to check if uh, uh, we have a good average score, we can pass a list of uh, a list of values. So let's create a list of values between zero and ten. Right. So essentially, um, what we want to check if is if the average of these values is above of is above five or not. So fortunately, we already have a couple of utility functions that will do the trick. Will do will help us to solve the problem. First of all, we have a function that will determine what is the average score. That will help, right? And then once we have the average, we have another function that will take the average as an input and will return true or false depending on whether the average is a greater or equal to five or not. So, in other words, first of all, the first thing we need to do is to calculate the average. So let's create a variable, average uh, score equals get average score. We pass the list of scores. And then once we have the average, then let's check what happened uh, if we check the uh, ab if we check if it's good or not? So we can create another variable, check average score uh, equals uh, the function. This is first of all, this is not correct, and the reason why this is not correct is because we have created a variable with the same name as a function. This is illegal in JavaScript, so this won't work, right? This is a classic problem. So uh, Please rename the variable name with is good score, something like that, right? And then eventually we can return is good score. So this is uh, the first thing we should do, uh, we, we, we can easily do. Um, we can even add some uh, breakpoints uh, to see if that makes any sense or not. So first of all, average score. Look, that looks correct to me. I mean, I'm not going to calculate the average of, the, of these numbers, but that looks promising. 2.8. Okay, fair enough. So let's continue. And then it's good score. That will be false probably, right? Yes, that's exactly false because the average score is below 5. So that should return false. Correct. That's a good thing. But what happens if now we change some of the values to make sure that the average is above Five. So hopefully, yeah, I'm sure that will that will make the trick. So if we test again, average should be look 6.3. So then its good score should be true. So that function should return true. Right. So that looks really good. Obviously, we can simplify this snippet a bit. For example, if we want to return just yes, the result of checking the average score why don't we put it in line we don't necessarily need to create a variable don't get me wrong i'm not against creating variables sometimes they're very useful especially for debugging and readability purposes but i think this the example is simple enough so we can just you know get rid of one of the lines and that works right we can even simplify this even more and i'm not that convinced whether that's a good idea or not but we can uh, because we, we we are assigning the output of get average score to the input of ch of check average score, so we can just do it in one line, and that still works as you can see, right? So now if the values are below five, then it still still works, right? To me, I'm not that convinced, as I said before, this is a good idea or not, because it's a bit complicated even to read, right? It's a bit complicated to realize that that function receives as an argument the result of invoking another function, right? So, I mean, I think it doesn't hurt to, to create a variable and then to assign the result of the variable as the input of the uh, next function.